Um, today I thought it was time to speak about the painting that I'm making about uh, Marcolis in the clip video, Such a Shame. I talked about this painting in, uh, in another video, I will give you the link uh, below. Uh, because then you will understand what I'm doing with this painting. But basically, I'm painting an image of Marcolis in the clip video, Such a Shame. Uh, any, a specific image that I chose, uh, which for me is the most uh, comforting image. Don't, don't, ask, um, don't ask me why. Uh, I have no idea why I find this image comforting. Uh, maybe once I'm done with this painting, I will know a little more. Uh, it was difficult for me to tackle this painting because um, I used to paint about rock stars who were already dead and not alive. And uh, like Jim Morrison or Keith Moon, people like that. Um, but uh, Marcolis is alive, so it is... I didn't think that it would be complicated for me, but actually um, it's very present when I'm painting. I really am uh, thinking about that all the time, that he's alive. Um, it's kind of a little intimidating, which is stupid because he do absolutely doesn't see what I'm doing and he will probably never see what I'm doing. But um, still, I, I want to be sure to do the thing right, to not uh, offend him or to, to be right, you know. Uh, I'm always like, I must be right, I must be right, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a question of uh, being correct. my previous videos you will know that usually I paint in my shop why uh, it's uh, a shop is not the best place to focus when it's raining in Los Angeles you see absolutely nobody so it has been raining a lot lately and I didn't have a lot of people in my shop except during Christmas but otherwise when the weather is not right you are very quiet you know and you have some quiet time and some quality time to paint so i could do it in my shop especially because also uh, the light is much better in my shop than in my house and um, i need some light to paint as every artist i'm not the only one um, it's better because i see better what i do but um, I managed to do the draft, the, the drawing with the charcoal in my shop, no problem. I was able to focus uh, at the end of one day and it was great and uh, wonderful. Some people were, were watching me <laughs> from outside the shop, but it, it didn't bother me. Um, I was really focused on what I was doing. But when I wanted to start painting, suddenly I realized that this painting is much more, um, I want to say intimate, but intimate is not the word since I don't personally know Marcolis. So, but for me, it's probably uh, intimate, uh, related to myself. Um, obviously, I want to put something very personal in this painting. And that is why I started having difficulties to start the paint part in my shop, because I didn't want people to watch me doing it. I didn't want people to watch 
what I was doing and I needed to be alone um, to do it like like if I was in the middle of a meditation or something usually you don't do that in the middle of the street or in a shop or in a place where people can come in and out uh, all the time so I finally decided to bring my easel and my canvas in my home which is not great because I don't really have the space to I don't really have a studio for myself in my house so it's kind of in the middle of my living room because I want to be able to look at it whenever I want even if I'm in my kitchen I'm cleaning the dishes for example and I can look at my painting in the same time so I don't lose time because it, you know when you paint the work is not only when you hold the brush and where you when you are in front of your canvas it's also um, in the day when you look at it or when you pass in front of it or you think of things it helps you to start the painting so it's exactly what i wanted i don't have a lot of light uh, especially at night especially like now we are at night now so I'm sorry if the light is not good for my video but it's the only way how I can do it so we will deal with it um, and to work on my painting it's also a little difficult at night because I don't have a lot of light but I decided that I will probably start it um, in my house and once the thing will be really done, mostly for the most part, then I will bring it back to my shop so I will have all the light to check that nothing is missing, that everything is right, uh, that I didn't miss something which doesn't work. or And maybe I will have also another perspective uh, for it. So I didn't do much so far for the paint part. I didn't do the most difficult. The most difficult is uh, Marcoli's face uh, because it's where the expression or the feeling of the person uh, shows. Uh, the body, I mean the suit, uh, the background, everything you put around that is easy that is it's some work but it, for me at least it's it's really easy the most difficult part is the face i didn't tackle it yet these last days i was in my taxis and uh, when i'm in my taxis i'm in a very bad mood i hate that I do it because I have to and I know how to do it, unfortunately for me, but um, it makes me in a very bad mood and certainly not in the mood um, of, of or to, I don't know how we say, uh, in the mood of tackling something which is difficult and which needs um, a lot of um, happiness love joy um, inspiration passion um, i need all this to paint his face uh, why uh, first because uh, he's a singer that and a composer that i love second because i like a lot his um, personality and then I really, really want to do it right, you know, to do it perfect exactly as I see him. It's probably the most important portrait that I will ever make, except maybe if I was deciding to do a painting of my uh, kids, my sons. Uh, that would be very important for me too, for other reasons. Um, 
I made a lot of drawings of them, but drawing it's much more easy than a painting for me. Um, so beside my kids, I would say uh, I, I was going to say maybe my cat. No, my cat would come maybe after Marcolis. <laughs> um, I love my cat, but it's much easier to paint a cat than um, a human being. And um, I admire Marcolis. And I'm very impressed by him, um, even if I know that he's a human being as everybody. And uh, But I'm very impressed by him, by his talent, and by the way he was working and the way he was inspired and how he, he progressed in his career and where he went and how he did it and how he dealt with it. There are a lot of things that I admire in that because I'm not sure that I would have been able to do what he did um, if I was in music and even in fine art. Anyway, I, I, I'm not as uh, famous and as... Uh, uh, far away as he could be in music uh, so there is no possible comparison but I think that we can always learn from people who are so talented and who are true genius I must say he's a genius I think he's a genius and I, I'm not the only one to say it he's really a genius so um I, I'm always interested by very smart and clever artists and I like learning from them. I already learned a lot just by listening to his music already. It's a lesson for me. And I listen to his music a lot, as you know. <laughs>
uh, with still some black in it but it's not going to be um, solid like that I want some nuances you know otherwise it's boring uh, but on the video it's almost uh, solid you don't see different uh, hues it's really uh, dark very dark like black and at the top same thing uh, I put a red, a very dark red. Uh, I want to go more towards the burgundy. Uh, it needs to be very dark too, much darker than that, because I want on my painting that him, uh, Marcolis, uh, will be really the center of the attention of my painting. You know, I want him, uh, his face. Uh, like if the light was coming from his face and uh, he's the center of the attention in the clip video so it must be absolutely the same on my painting however I did something yesterday uh, evening I did this so you see I glued uh, before painting the bottom. I usually start at the top and I go down like a, like on a wall, you know, because there are some drops falling down. So it's better to start at the top and finishing at the bottom. I did this. It's in cardboard. It's a simple cardboard like this. You see? So I draw them, the, the dice uh, on the cardboard, and then I cut them. I glued them. Uh, with some Elmer glue, you know, the regular glue you find at Home Depot or stores like that. Uh, I was surprised how fast and well it glues, but maybe I will probably have to um, cover this with some paper and uh, to be sure that it remains on the canvas because uh, with the heat in Los Angeles it may go away at a point and I don't want to have to redo everything but I didn't cover them with um, thin paper so far because I wanted to show you the drawing on the on the dice and uh, why uh, 421 I don't know if you know this game uh, I used to play uh, 421 when I was a child uh, it's a fun game. Uh, we were not playing for money. It was just for the fun. But it's a famous game in France. And I, I'm wondering if uh, in England they don't play this game too. Uh, but when you win, it's when... You, so you throw the dice, the three dice, and when you win when you get a 4 to 1. Of course, it happens rarely. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> the probabilities are very thin that you get exactly these three numbers, but it happens sometimes. Anyway, um, so basically, I wanted to say that Marcolis is a winner, you see, because he won with the uh, three dice, with the four to one, and the one. In the Dice Man, the book related to the video, um, the one is the first number that he gets at the beginning of the book. So I, I wanted the one to appear here and um, the one uh, was telling him to go and rape uh, his neighbor. And uh, in the book he goes and actually she's okay with it. So it was not really a rape, uh, it was rather funny <laughs> more than anything first i realized that the colors i'm using here i never use these kinds of colors in my painting so far never um i just did a still life a long time ago uh that I didn't choose the subject uh, my teacher, my art teachers uh, chose the subject of the painting so I had to use the colors that I was seeing in front of me um, but it was not so dark as here and um, I want to go to colors um, a feeling of this kind of composition you know that is um, a tartan um, a plaid uh, print uh, for me it's very typical of uh, England or United Kingdom 
and Marcolis is English. So I think that that's why I, I see uh, green for me is England. When I think green, I think England, maybe because it's raining a lot and there is a lot of green, I mean, vegetables, uh, plants, uh, uh, prairies, um, trees, uh, uh, a lot of green, uh, golf, the green of the go uh, golf, you know. Um, so I associate the green to England. I associate these colors, I mean the tartan style, where usually there are a lot of greens and reds, to England. Uh, I associate Marcolis to United Kingdom, uh, to England mostly. Um, so it must really reflect not only the clip video, not only the music, but also the book and also United Kingdom. Um, and I never really painted a lot about UK, uh, except maybe when I painted about Keith Moon, where I made the, uh, the Union Jack in the background. Um, but yeah, I, I love UK. So, the other thing that I learned uh, from Marcolis, something very important. Before, when I was painting, uh, so far, uh, I stopped during nine years, but before I stopped and lately when I started, I usually I'm focused on my painting and I paint as it comes, you know, uh, I, I know what I'm going to paint. I usually have a topic and I usually have a draft on my canvas, so I know what I'm going to do, but sometimes some ideas are coming, popping out from I don't know where, I have no idea why, and um, very often my painting ends up uh, completely differently from what I was uh, planning at the beginning. This time I really want to stay in what I decided at the beginning. I really want Marcolis to be the center. I really wanted the dice to be there. I really wanted the background to be dark, but to be green, dark green, because it makes me think of UK. I will probably put some lettering at the top, but same thing, it must be very discreet. It must not be in your face, you know, because what must be in your face, it's Marcoli's face. Um, so, I want to stay focused and to continue on my idea without going there and there and imagining all kind of stuff. And that is new for me. And why I, I say that I learned that from Marcolis because he likes spontaneity and uh, he likes um, improvising, but he usually knows where he's going and he usually is very focused and he has a direction and uh, he knows what he wants to get and that is something that I I never worked like that and I want to try I want to try to see if I'm able to get the result that I wanted from the beginning without being uh, uh, distracted by other things and still with having my usual uh, inspiration and motivation and and dream and uh like um like when i'm outside of myself you know like i'm in another planet where, while i'm painting especially when i listen to his music so i'm going to try that and uh, you will see the result uh when I'm going to paint the face, I'm not going to be able uh, to paint and to film in the same time because it needs really uh, a lot of uh, concentration and focus on it. Uh, and um, I don't want to be distracted by my phone, my camera and like, oh, do we see what I'm doing? Uh, it's impossible. But when I will do the... Um, 
the suit and the the rest i i will show you uh, because that is n less complicated and i can film a little in the meantime uh, to show you um Anyway, you will see the result. I'm not going to hide the result. Uh, I want to be sure that it's perfect before showing you the result. Mm -mm. Yeah, I want to be proud of what I made. It seems normal. <laughs> no. um, so if you don't know where is uh, the song Such a Shame, it's on the album um, It's My Life. This, I have the CD, um, but this is a tape, um, audio tape, you see. This is an audio tape that is the first thing of Tok Tok that I bought in 19... I think I bought it in 1985, I think. And I still have it. And I'm glad that I have it because on this, um, who wrote the song is written. Uh, that's how I know that um, Such a Shame was uh, written by uh, Marcolis. It's true that I usually love a lot the songs that Marcolis uh, composed alone. Um, it happened like that. I didn't do it purposely. Um, anyway, I'm glad that it's written because, you know, on the CD I have, nothing is written. You don't know um, who wrote what. And I found on internet, on a website, something ridiculous saying that um, it's you the song It's You was written by um, P.J. Harvey. Ridiculous. That's a big mistake. No, no. It was written by Marcolis. And if it's not written on the CD, how you can know? I don't understand. On a CD, um, the authors, uh, composers, and uh, person who writes the lyrics should be written. I, I don't get that. Anyway, I hope that this was interesting for you. Um, if you paint or if you don't paint or if you like Marcolis or if you don't especially like Marcolis or even if you don't even know who Marcolis is, whatever. Um, I'm absolutely passionate about how artists are inspired uh, in their work. So I thought that maybe it would interest you as well. Thank you for listening to me until the end. If you did, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And if you have any technical question about uh, painting or about Marcolis or anything, any question actually, as long as it's nice, feel free to contact me through YouTube and I will be glad to answer you if I can. Okay, so um, see you soon and bye-bye. <laughs>